let's move on to artificial intelligence uh, because uh, the big thing is people are so worried about it. And, and could it create more jobs as opposed to this? When I was thinking about this, it's like I know back when the farmer was farming back around the 1900s and they brought in automation with tractors and all this. Oh, my gosh. A lot of jobs went down. But the economy didn't fold because it created other jobs, and that's what's happening. They think it's going to reduce jobs for people, and that is just not the case. Yeah, and, and, and it was interesting. We, we saw a use case here with the CEO from IBM. He admitted that AI, yes, it has replaced hundreds of workers. But then he also went on to say it has created more jobs than it eliminated. I, I was shocked by that. He then went on to say it frees up investment that the employer can put to other areas that include such jobs as software engineering. I was kind of surprised by that. I thought that might be something that might get hurt by AI. But again, I, I'm not a software engineer, so right. I'm not sure exactly what the details and intricacies of that job are. But that's one thing he pointed to. And this made sense to me as well. Sales and marketing. You know, if you're maybe spending less on one area, you can hire, hire more salespeople, which ideally would be great so you can boost sales. And customer service. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I remember back, um, I, I believe it was on the internet. But, oh, it's going to replace jobs. It's going to you know, lose jobs and so forth. And it didn't. I remember using an example on, on TV and on my commentary that, uh, well, at one point, you would go into the elevator. You had the elevator operator that would hit the button for you. You would make a phone call. You had a operator connect the call for you. Those are completely gone. And, and the thing is, is, as humans, we hate to have change, but things are evolving and they're changing. And jobs that we don't even know about We'll probably be here in five to ten years that they weren't even thought of and it's the same thing it just evolves yeah and I, i've brought this up on the show before but it just blows my mind so i i, I like to bring it up so if you haven't heard the show before you, you you know about this now but I, I remember when i was getting married this was uh gosh about three years ago now and there's now something where you know you have your photographer you have your videographer but then you have somebody there doing your social media day <laughs> of <laughs> So that people can see what's going on. And we didn't use that. So right. I don't think I, I used that for my social media or anything. But as a job that was not around pre-social media. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. It's, it's a thing that is actually out there. And, and normal things like creating spreadsheets and other routine tasks, uh, they're going to be done by artificial intelligence. If that's what you're doing, your job is going to be replaced. But it still takes a human to do the critical thinking, to put all this together. And, and if you, you have to know how to use the information to enhance the business. And I, I, I did pull up uh, some of the, the jobs uh, that are going to be created that I didn't even know about, like an AI compliance manager. They got that. Virtual stores, SERPA. Uh, there was another one here. AI business development managers, AI content creators, AI product managers, man-machine teaming managers. So what's going to happen is that humans will be working more with the data. And if you're creating that data, like on spreadsheets or whatever, your job is going to be replaced, but you've got to know how to use that data. And we, we use AI in our, our business now. It's, it's saved us so much time. It has really made us much more efficient, but you and I are still here. Yeah. And, and I look at it, I don't think maybe replace, but maybe your job will be transformed. You know, yeah. I, I, it's something that, that you got to be a uh, able and willing to bend your job as times are changing because yeah i mean companies want to be more efficient and efficiency maybe means you still have the same headcount but if you can get more from that headcount that's a big positive to the company yeah, yeah. so we we tell people i think again you got to understand the data but also i think that intrapersonal skill is something that will be around for many years to come there's still a lot of people that are like i don't want to work with a machine i want to talk to somebody yeah so having good people skills and knowing how to use data, I think those are going to be the jobs that are going to be around at least uh, longer than the other jobs. Right. 